welcome to all the participants. Today we will discuss under the tourism marketing, tourism product as well as the product design. We will also discuss the product design for the core product, peripheral product as well as product life cycle. We will also discuss about the positioning. So after this discussion you will be able to understand what is the meaning of the product. You will be able to understand what is the tourism product and how it is differentiated between the resource. What is the difference between the source and the product. You will be able to understand what are the different phases of the product life cycle and the positioning. Dear friends, when we talk about the product, anything can be a product which can be offered to the market or which can be offered to the customer. And when we talk about this product, if we critically examine the tourism product or product in tourism, we'll realize that tourism product is a bit unique than the other product because it has the services also associated with it. And therefore, we call it is in product in tourism may include the services also those are necessary for the consumption of the core product. Dear students, when we talk about the tourism product, tourism product is unique in the nature because it has certain peculiar features like product and consumption both are correlated. This tourism product is a perishable product because it cannot be stored for long. When we talk about the tourism product, ownership cannot be transferred. When we talk about tourism product, you may stay in a hotel, you can hire, you can rent it out, but you cannot transfer the ownership. You cannot claim that you are the owner of the hotel. Similarly, you may hire a taxi, but you cannot say that you become the owner of the taxi. So therefore, tourism product is bit unique in the nature. Of course, we have also discussed that for the general product, tangibility is there. Whereas when we talk about the Taj Mahal, you can enjoy, you can have the experience of this product. So intangibility is also there when we talk about the tourism product. Dear friends, when we talk about the product, we have to be very careful because we have to provide the tourism product as per the requirement of the customer. And we have to design the product as the customer wishes. Therefore, before discussion of product design, we wish to discuss a common phenomena, the question which may come into the mind of the students, that what is the difference between resource and a product. There is a saying that in India, there are so many tourism resources, but there are less tourism products. The difference is when the resources triple A's are added into the existing resources that may be attraction, that may be accessibility, that may be amenities. Attraction may be tangible, non-tangible. Attraction may be related to the physical or attraction may be related to the services. Like when you are going to Saputara in Gujarat, it is a barrel land. These are the hills. This is the core product. But the services is, you can have the bungee jumping. While you are going to the Nimrana fort, you can have other adventure activities also, soft adventure activities. So related to the services, attraction may be tangible or non-tangible. Attraction may be man-made or the natural. So when we are going to Agra, Taj Mahal is a man-made attraction. But the services of guides are the non-tangible attraction. When you are going to Jodhpur or Udaipur, you are enjoying the Rajasthani kachoris. So preparation of the kachori and the quality of the kachori is a non-tangible. So dear friends, when we attract first A, that is tourist attraction. Second one is the accessibility. While we are able to go to Badrinath or Kedarnath, like during winters in month of December, January, Kedarnath is not a tourism product because accessibility is not there. Amarnath cave is not a tourist 
product during this particular time because accessibility is not there. But the movement during the summers when the accessibility is there, that become a tourism product. So you have to add the accessibility. Therefore, Alps of Switzerland, they become, once they become accessible, then they become the tourism product. And third one, which is very important when we talk about the resource, once we add amenities like culture, food, dance, therefore, a lot of people from across the world as well as from the country, they wishes to enjoy the Rajasthan and Gujarat because of the amenities are there. So once we add attraction, accessibility, amenities in our existing tourism resource, then it becomes tourism product. Dear friends, when we talk about the tourism product, tourism product can be further classified into two parts. One is core product, another one is the peripheral product. When we talk about the core product, the product itself, transportation, accommodation, all these are the important aspects when we talk about the core product. So while we are designing the core product, we have to keep in mind the different expectation of the customers, those are traveling, those are coming to your destination. When we talk about the peripheral product, that may include banking, insurance, security, safety, policing, all these are like shopping, all these are the part of the tourism peripheral product. Further, they can be categorized as private peripheral and public peripheral, like visa. This is a, most of the places are like policing. These are the public or the government policies. They, are, they may be called as the public peripheral product. So we have to keep in mind as a marketer, while we are designing the product, that what sort of product is this and who are the customer. So core product, which is again important for the tourist, but pollution, noise, security, accessibility, infrastructure, all these are related with the government and most of the government like today, uh, when we talk about the government policies, most of the state government, they have their tourism policies, tour guiding, this is again a peripheral. When we talk about Swachh Bharat, Swachh Paritan, Abhyan of Government of India, Ministry of Tourism, this is again a peripheral, but, but is very important one. So as a tourism marketer, we have to keep in mind the tangible and well as intangible elements while we are developing the product or while we are designing the product. Of course, service part is intangible, but this is very important when we talk about the tourism product. Dear students, bread and breakfast scheme, home stay scheme. Again, these are the creative ideas, unique feature you have to develop. Like when we talk about the Uttarakhand, when we talk about Goa, when we talk about the northeast of India, you realize that the product design is very important, even for transportation, for accommodation, for food, and for other ancillary services. So you have to be very careful while you are developing, like transportation is good, but the quality of the chef, his dressing, his behavior, his manners are very important. So as a businessman or as a travel agent or as a tour operator, or as a student or the scholar of tourism, you know the difference between Taj Oberai, or when you talk about the Uday Vilas of Udaipur, or Amar Vilas of Taj Mahal, of Taj Nagri, what we call the Agra, the quality of the product is different. Whereas when we talk about the designing of the product, you will find the local hotel in say Parchkuya or Pahalganj in Delhi is different. When we talk about the product designing, you have to keep in mind the product positioning also. Product positioning is the image. The moment we call incredible India, of course it is a part of the promotion. But when we talk about this incredible India, we realize that India has all the product, most of the product available in the tourism world. Be it is hill, be it is snow, be it is sand, be it is sea, be it is wildlife. You name any product, you will find all these products are available in India. 
we have wonderful infrastructure but at the same time there are poor infrastructure also so when a foreigner come he realize that india is really incredible dear friends when we talk about god's own country kerala and when we talk about rangila rajasthan we realize that the image is different dear friends when we talk about the product designing as a student of tourism we have to be careful about the core product and the peripheral product as i have discussed already but at the same time product positioning is also different therefore while you are developing your cafeteria you have to keep in mind what type of product you are offering to the tourists so what happened when you are working with the coffee cafe day a same tourist who is visiting the same place he is ready to pay 150 rupees for a cup of cappuccino coffee whereas other tourists those are going visiting the same place near to varanasi within varanasi or near to ganga he is further negotiating for a cup of coffee while he are in, he is enjoying the cup of coffee from a street vendor and he is paying hardly 10 rupees so product designing at each stage be it is development of infrastructure be it is development of the uh, the transportation product itself be it is accommodation or any peripheral the color shape size design even of the rooms are also very important and sometimes that passes a status symbol also the packaging is also very important when we talk about the product design dear friends we have to keep in mind those attributes in mind and accordingly through promotional aspect we have to we can develop the image of to our tourism product yes image can be changed also and therefore we have seen when in the airline sector there was a different image at one point of time of air india then during the time of recession the different image has gone now again because of the privatization similar example we have witnessed about the jet airways or kingfisher airlines so dear friends when we talk about the tourism product another important aspect is product life cycle this is very important and when we talk about the life cycle there are various aspects or various life stages are there when we talk about the product life cycle the very first stage is entry stage when you are developing there you require the different tactics then growth stage and after the growth stage you are going to the further growth and reaching to the saturation point or the top point of the product so products when we designing the product we have to look after and we have to be concerned with the product life cycle as we have already discussed the very first stage is the entry stage where the product is entering into the market or it is coming up or it is growing further so second stage is the growth stage and the third stage can be called as the maturation stage where the maturity is coming up when we talk about the product and a time would come like saturation and then the decline it is like the human life when a young boy is there he may require different facilities and amenities mother may protect father may protect and then the boy young boy is growing up he may have the different requirement when he become adult say 20 20 25 where the maximum outcome is there his requirement may be different different strategies would be required or tactics would be required when he become 50 plus different this is called the saturation age and afterwards the declining stage and declining stage is also very important you have to have the different strategy similarly when we talk about the product designing initially when the product is entering you may have to spend a lot of money so that people can come to know about that brand that product you have to go for the further product development during the growth stage because n number of people may come and passing through the maturization maturity stage or saturation the decline stage 20 years back in delhi there was a place called appu ghar but today if you visit pragati maidan area and you find someone where the appu ghar is there there is say no so it has totally gone 
because it has completed its product life cycle. When we talk about Delhi, Gurgama, known for kingdom of dream, that has leased to the stage of maturity or sometimes people call it as a stage of saturation. So different analysis, different strategies required and each of these stage have the product distinctive features. You have to be careful. You have to use different data analysis and different precautions so that the product life cycle can be longer in term or we call it Butler, the famous author Butler has applied this product life cycle sort of concept to the destination life cycle also. Because when this product life cycle is applicable to, the, to a destination, then it become a destination life cycle and Butler has given that there may be a stage after which again this declining stage can be moved to the U-turn like Patliputra. Other places, we have seen that uh, there are universities, those were the world known university, Nalanda. At one point of time, it has gone down, Mohan Jodhro. But then again, Harappa, Mohan Jodhro, Ajanta, Elora Caves, they are reviving again. So in tourism, you have to be very careful and you have to be very specific that what is the life cycle stage of this product. Accordingly, one has to develop the strategy, one has to develop the, the design of that product to meet out the customer satisfaction, to meet out the requirement of the tourist. Dear friends, further I wish to inform you, it is not only the core product which is important, but the souvenir play shops, the shopping area is also important. So when we design a product, it means determining the features of the product and the benefit that it will provide to the user. Effective designing will maximize the benefit and the appeal to the consumer. And once the consumer is satisfied, then obviously this customer, satisfied customer will be an asset to a destination or to your organization. The satisfied customer may visit again and again to your destination or to the hotel or to the transport or to the company or to the shop. And these type of customer may be called as the repeated customer. So when we talk about conversion of potential customer or into the actual customer, the product designing play an important role. Of course, when we talk about product in tourism, sometimes it may be considered as the place of destination, which may provide the different experience like Sentosa Island, when we talk about Gujarat, there are so many other places are there, Somnath Temple, when we visit Ahmedabad, Swaminarayan Temple, when we visit Jaisalmer or Jodhpur, the desert, and this product designing would have further sub-products mixture that may represent architect, this may really, uh, include culture, that may include religion, that may include history, sports, laser, temples, lifestyle, etc. When we talk about Bangalore, when we talk about Pune, when we talk about Mumbai or Calcutta, the street, you know, there are certain streets, those are known for fashion and designing. So as a student of tourism, when we visit a normal place or palace, that become a different thing. And like when you are going visiting Goa, visit to the Kalangut beach, Vagal visit to the Baga beach, that would give a different experience. When you visit Bangalore, when you visit the Indra market of Bangalore, or when you visit the MG road of Bangalore, or Anna road of Chennai, or Tinagar of Chennai, or when you visit Karol Bagh or Kanat place, you know the difference. Chandni Chok and Kanat place, see the difference. And different Hotels, those are there in Kanat place, they may have the different charges, different tariffs, whereas a hotel which is in Chandni Chowk may have the different charges. Similarly, manpower. When we talk about the product designing, you have to be very careful about product positioning. You have to be keep in mind uh, the, 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 life, the life stages 
of this particular product so that accordingly strategies can be developed accordingly techniques can be developed dear friends i wish to inform you that ministry of tourism government of india also have their plannings also they contribute for the product development like most of the state government like in india the tourism is a state subject and government of india ministry of tourism they provide central financial assistance cfa for the development of the infrastructure and most of these states they have certain areas those have been identified as the uh, benchmark for the development of the tourism so for infrastructure they spend the money as well as they provide financial assistance for the development of the manpower so far as manpower is concerned through ihms or through iittms the tourist guides and the a large chunk of the uh, manpower is being developed for the men uh, to supply to the hotels to supply to the resorts so government of india also contribute for the development of a destination when we talk about the product designing or tourism product is concerned dear friends you must have enjoyed today's discussion we have discussed about the meaning of the product then we have developed the we have discussed the difference between resource and the product we have further discussed that what is the product when we talk about the core product and the peripheral further we have discussed the life stages or the life cycle of the product which carry different stages and different aspects so the most important thing in all this discussion is the tourism product should be as per the requirement of the customer at the same time we have to keep in mind the changing business scenario or changing guest expectation therefore when you visit delhi international indira gandhi international airport or mumbai air international airport you will find the different expectations are being fulfilled by developing the different infrastructure when you visit kyoni or you visit the established brand like cox and king and thomas cook the travel agencies you will find all together different men power that is again a product designing so you have to be concerned with the overall product development which include the technology and equipment also with this can this should improve the quality of service therefore the term carrying capacity sustainable tourism all these terms become very important and they become buzzword because tourists are concerned with the happiness and leisure and pleasure and therefore nowadays people are talking about the happiness index also while they are visiting or while they are enjoying a tourism product so again we wish to inform you and we wish to discuss that when we talk about a tourism product in australia or in fiji or in auckland in new zealand all these are three different though all three are in the pacific island so a tourist who is visiting fiji may have a different expectation while he is going to new zealand with a wood stick there are certain different restrictions are there restrictions are there you cannot take because there are certain laws so product development is a very important area i am sure that you must have enjoyed this discussion thank you thank you very much <laughs>